Okay, so today's lesson is 4.3, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. So step one, set your, set your problem vertically, always vertically, just like yesterday. Step two is find a common denominator and the equivalent fraction. Step three, add or subtract the fractions first. Borrow if necessary for subtraction. Step four is to add or subtract the whole numbers. And step five is to reduce in simplest form. So here is your example for addition. Let's look at number one. And then you can do number two on your own. So first you have to put your problem vertically. So you have three and two thirds and eight and one fifth. Just like yesterday, you do your setup. Okay, except the only difference is you're gonna bring over your whole numbers over on that side. So you put a three here and an eight here. That's the only difference. Now you're gonna look at exactly like yesterday, this you're worried about here, two thirds and one fifth. Well, three doesn't go into five at all, so you know you're gonna multiply three times five is 15 for your LCM. Just like yesterday, now you do. Three times what is equal to 15? It's five. And five times what is equal to 15? Which is three. Multiply across, two times five is 10, and one times three is three you are adding. So you're going to add up your whole number, your fractions first. 10 plus 3 is 13, and your denominator stays the same as 15, and 8 plus 3 is, is 11. So your answer is 11 and 13 fifteenths. So try number 2 on your O, and then when you're ready, push play. So number 2 you should have set it up vertically, 6 and 7 eighths plus 4 and 3 eighths. Okay, look at this. The denominator is the same, so all you have to do is add. 7 plus 3 is 10 eighths, and 6 plus 4 is 10. But now here's the problem. You cannot have an improper fraction with a whole number. You have to convert this into a mixed number. So the way you convert this into a mixed number is divide. 10's inside, 8's outside. 8 goes into 10 once, multiply, and subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. You get 1 and 2 eighths. Well, the 2 eighths can be reduced. Divide top and bottom by 2, and you get the answer of 1 fourth. But now this whole number 1 has to be added to this 10. So really, it's 10 plus one and one fourth. And you'll get the answer of 11 and one fourth is your answer. Okay, let's try number three. So you can try it on your own and then push play, or you can do it with me together. So you should have set this up vertically. Four and five, six, and three and one eighth. Okay, do your setup. Don't forget to bring your whole number over here so you don't forget about your whole number. Now you have your eight and you have your six. Oops, sorry. Okay, a number they both go into is two, so this is four and three. A number they both go into is one, make your L. Two times one is two times four four is eight, eight times three is 24. So your common denominator is 24. So 24 goes here. Now ask yourself, six times what is equal to 24? Six times four is equal to 24. And eight times what is equal to 24, which is three. Now multiply across, five times four is 20. And one times three is three. Add them up and you'll get 20 plus 3 is 23 over 24 and 4 plus 3 is 7 and your answer is 7 and 23 over 24. All right, number four. So you should have lined them up vertically, 2 and 9 elevenths plus four and two thirds, doing your setup. 
Okay, don't forget your whole numbers. All right, well, 3 is prime, and 3 can't go into 11, so 3 times 11 is 33. So we put 33 as your denominator. Ask yourself, 11 times what is equal to 33, which is 3, and 3 times what is equal to 33, which is 11. Multiply across, 9 times 3 is 27, and 2 times 11 is 22. Add them up, so you have 27 plus 22 is 49 over 33, and 4 plus 2 is 6. Remember, you cannot have an improper fraction with a whole number, so you have to convert this into a mixed number. So you're going to divide 49 and 33. 33 goes into 49 once, 33, subtract, you get 6, 16, so it's 1 and 16 over 33. Well, 16 and 33, is that reduced to its lowest terms? 3 can't go into 16, 4 goes into it, but 4 doesn't, 5 doesn't, 6 does not, 7, 8, and we're done. So this is reduced to its lowest terms. Now you're going to add. You take your whole number, 6, and then you take your whatever you have for your mixed number, plus 16 over 33, add them up, and you get 7 and 16 over 33 is your answer.